What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. We're talking about uh, Jeepers Creepers 4 in this video here again today, Jeepers Creepers Reborn. Now for those of you who have been watching these videos, you already know that when it pertains to Jeepers Creepers 4, yes, there is an ongoing lawsuit as it pertains to distribution rights and myriad pictures allegedly claiming that Infinity Films went ahead and produced and shot this movie without their without their knowledge, which they weren't apparently supposed to do. This is a trial that seems to be leading into 2024, which gives us the indication that we might not even get this movie this year and we probably will be waiting until 2024 to hear anything further about this ip again i just want to talk about myriad pictures really quick myriad pictures kirk d'amico who is the ceo of the company he had made a comment in 2020 when we first started hearing rumblings about something being in development about jeepers creepers 4 he said it wasn't true and then shockingly february of 2021 an announcement came that jeepers creepers reborn was coming out later this year now how, as excited as I was, I was still also thinking about the fact that he did say there's no truth to that. Why did he say that? And then this happened. Of course, that could be them just trying to shoot the movie under the rug with their involvement. But it seems now with the court case, there was some truth to that in the sense that they didn't know this was happening. So that's why immediately after it was announced to the public, they caught wind and they're in trial the next month in March in 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 California somewhere with Screen Media, with Infinity Films, with Oral Studios, with all of everybody associated with the project, Jake Seal, so many different people, Michael O'Hoven, all these different producers that we've seen associated with this project are in court right now or have some court stuff going on pertaining to this movie. And regardless of what anyone is telling you, I don't know how some people would not know that this is going on when they're involved with the movie. You know exactly what's going on. Maybe not to the point of, you know, all the ins and outs, but you are working with these people. Like it, it's time to stop all the lies, I would say, because that's what I just think is going on, in my opinion. I think that there's a lot of lying going on. So as it pertains to Jeepers Creepers 4, if this movie that they shot is not released, maybe then we'll get something later on this decade where it is actually that movie that is 23 years later you have trisha jenner back played by gina phillips you have jonathan breck back playing the creeper you have all these other actors back as well uh portraying characters from the past ray wise back as jack taggart and you know you give us that movie that people have been clamoring for since jeepers creepers 2 not everyone of course that's I, I would say at this one a small section of people because we know that myriad had actually already been working on the project from 2018 and 2019 i would imagine with infinity films from what i was reading and understanding from that lawsuit details which again i'll leave in the description but with what infinity has gone and done i don't think they're going to want to work with them in any jeepers creepers 4 that they would try to make after this court stuff is dealt with because they're going to try to eventually i guess move away from them go work with someone else and make their iteration of jeepers creepers 4 that if it's written by victor salva then i guess that's just what it is but not actually directed by him i would rather just have a completely different writer and director but of course there's still that aspect that victor salva himself will get paid from it off of the basis that he sold the rights to to myriad pictures if that's true because it seems like myriad pictures hold some type of rights to the ip while victor is letting them lease it and probably other entities lease it as well so if i mean that would all that would be all he got paid for just for that lease if the lease is actually a thing that exists so they could bring back all of those characters all of those actors give us that 23 years later movie have trisha team up with jack have trisha and jack go out of their way to hunt the creeper after it escapes the taggart barn and you know they could throw in some of the ideas that weren't used in reborn and i would also love if maybe they even gave those actors that didn't know about what was going on a chance to star in their iteration of the movie maybe chase and lane can still be characters they're just not going to be the focus of the movie maybe they'll do some reworking of what was already well i mean at that point could they even do that because it's not their idea well, yeah, I don't think they could do that. Uh, they could, they would have to come up with something completely new, I think, where they introduce new characters. Because uh, at this point, I would think they're just going to do some retwerking of the cathedral script that exists. But it's not going to be from Victor Salva. It'll be from a different different creator. When I mean creator, different writer. Uh, and I know there's some people out there who would take it on. You just have to find the right person. Myriad Pictures, knowing that they were already working on the fourth movie, that lets me know that we were going to, of course, get it. And it doesn't seem like the one we're getting right now is the one we were supposed to get since there's a trial going on. So if this movie itself that is calling itself Jeepers Creepers 4 right now 
is shelved, then hopefully what happens is that Myriad Pictures leaves Infinity Films, doesn't do business with them at all whatsoever, doesn't even do anything with screen media. Because uh, now this this lawsuit even man, brings into question if they were having tensions with these two during Jeepers Creepers 3. So if they were able to get away from them, move away from them, go out of their way to go to a different production company to help work with them in financing and producing the movie, bring back Jonathan Breck, bring back Gina Phillips, bring back Ray Wise, and tell us an appropriate fourth movie that has a decent enough budget, maybe $7 million or so, doesn't need, any, need to be anything grand or anything like that, $10 million even, where you tell this narrative about the Creeper reawakening 23 years later, and you can have a young writer, filmmaker, who is trying to just remove the tainted legacy of the of this franchise and trying to you know just carve their own path by telling their own vision there's somebody out there that would do it somebody who is not as known as like a james wan or something because i know a lot of you would love to see james wan tackle it but those bigger names they wouldn't do it i i just think they wouldn't do it because of the reputation they have and don't want to have people coming at them from all different ways and angles when we know that they wouldn't be doing this obviously to say hey i want to work with a with a former abuser it's not it's not anything like that but one of the lesser known people who want to make a name for themselves and just draw attention to themselves, no matter how negative it might be, if you can make it big and actually put out a proper fourth Jeepers Creepers movie and then continue on to build a legacy for yourself that surpasses Jeepers Creepers 4 with countless movies you make, that is the person who I think would be the one to direct a fourth Jeepers Creepers movie off the basis that they're not as known they may have some projects under their belt that have been praised from other people but they don't have as big as a big of a name as these other horror makers that don't want to touch jeepers creepers off of the off of the fear of having a reputation tarnished whereas this person they can get some flack and build on from that flack and be regarded as something completely different from where they started out because these other people that started out in a different place and then turned to Jeepers Creepers, I think they'll be they'll be worse off. That's just how I see it. Like a James Wan, for instance. I don't think he's going to touch it, even though I would love to see him tackle this movie. But let me know what you guys think about that. Do you think they should reshoot Jeepers Creepers 4 if it came to that? Would you be okay with that with all the appropriate ingredients? Let me know that down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.